Listen to this. Five things that women do that men cannot stand. Number one, I hate when we go out to eat and you ask me, what do you want to eat? Knowing you know what you want to eat, but yet and still ask me, what do I want to eat? Knowing you're not going to eat what I want to eat. So why do you ask me, what do I want to eat? You're going to be like, hey, choose what you want to eat. And the moment I say what I want to eat, you're going to say you don't want it. So why the hell did you ask me, what do I want to eat? Number two, how come when a man tell you a woman something, it takes an absolute stranger to come along and say the same thing for you to finally listen to what I've been trying to tell you. It's kind of crazy that you're listening to that stranger when I told you this years ago. Come on, sisters. <laughs> Number three, when I confront you, I didn't come to confront you about something I did to you in the past. I came to talk to you about something that's currently bothering me. It is not fair to me that every time I speak to you about something that's bothering me, you flip it on me and make it about you. That ain't fair, right? And it happens consistently when you talk to the women. Hey, I don't like the fact that you did, but six months ago you did, that's crazy. Number four, ladies, your money don't make you a man. Masculinity don't come with economics. When you say leader, right, which is this term alpha that people use, that only means that you're a leader. That doesn't mean you make more money. I know people that make more money, but they're not great leaders. So let's have this conversation. Stop equating money to masculinity. I make more money than you. Here's the problem. A lot of the women, they push out bait, right? That lure beta men because of the fact that you always lead with what you have. I have a lot of money. So therefore, more men that need you are attached to you because it's the same thing we push out. Think about it. Number five. Stop asking us how you look in things when you know you really don't want to hear our opinion Because if we state our opinion, you're going to get upset Do I look fat in these jeans? You're damned if you do, damned if you don't So guess what we usually do? We don't Because I'm not going to answer that question Because it's an answer you don't want to really hear from me Because if you have to ask me, you maybe know the answer to it hmm. Don't let that go over your head